Hey there, Kyle Souza, the TalkingGeek.com here to talk about a comic book. Now this one is a digital version. I did go to print. It's Jurassic Strike Force 5. I only got the preview for it. I don't normally download previews because I don't like reading somewhere between 25 and 50 percent of a single issue. But uh, this one looked really interesting to me because it has to do with dinosaurs. I like dinosaurs. So Jurassic Strike Force 5, number zero, this is put up by Silver Dragon, subtitled Earth's Original Heroes. Okay. Written and created by Joe Brusha, art by Julian Aguilera, colors by Thomas Mason, letters by Art Monkeys, edited by Ralph Tedesco. As always, my apologies on not pronouncing those names correctly if I didn't. Inside cover page. Right, so basically, an asteroid comes to Earth, it's got an alien spaceship in it, it grabs some dinosaurs, converts them into superheroes, uh, another one comes, grabs some other dinosaurs, converts them into villains. They then form Jurassic Strike Force 5. So we have Rex, he's the leader, he is mixed with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Easy enough. We have Tank, mixed with a Triceratops. Alright. Spike using a Stegosaurus. Boomer, your standard pterodactylus. And then Soral, which is probably a oh like like Ducky from Land Before Time. Uh, I am blanking on the name. Paris, oh man, I, I am blanking on the type of dinosaur that she is. Um, let's see if it comes to me before the end of this video. All right, I've got then the other bad guys are, or the other dinosaurs are the bad guys. So we have Kane. Kane is Rex's brother, so another Tyrannosaurus Rex. Then we have Mace. Mason an ankylosaurus, ankylosaur, there. Then we have Rocky, down here, Rocky, a pachycephalosaurus um, of they might be giants fame. Then we have Razor and Talon, this guy and this guy, they're like oviraptors. Uh, then we have Strife, she's another pterosaur, but probably something like a pteranodon. Not a pterodactylus, you know, very different head, um, some different wings there. And then the big bad is Zalex. So let's see. Um, let, me, let me see if I can look up Ducky's dinosaur type real quick. If it's going to even give me a Sorolophus or a Parasaurolophus for Ducky's dinosaur. Oh, this is Zalex. Let's go back here to Sorol. So probably a Parasaurolophus or a Sorolophus. Doesn't say exactly in here. But it's it's interesting. I like the premise of it. Like I said, I like dinosaurs. I like things that aren't just your normal superheroes. I mean, I love plenty of superheroes. But something that decides to take a chance, try something different, try something new. These anthropomorphic dinosaurs, uh, you know, humanoid, they're, they're, they basically splice the dinosaur DNA with whatever this alien DNA is. And now they're there to protect humanity, protect Earth. Um, it, it's interesting. We don't get much because there is only... Let me see how much story we actually get here. There's only eight pages of story in this preview. It ends on page 10, that includes the cover and the inside title page as the covers there. So it, or as the first two pages. So we only get eight pages of story. And that's why I don't like downloading previews because you don't really get enough to get into the story, to get invested with the story. But that's what previews are for, is to not get you invested, but to get you interested. So they did a good job with this preview because it got me interested. Thought I'd share it with anybody who wanted to see this. I'd say check it out.
All right, that's it for, for me, Kyle. TheTalkingGeek.com is my blog. Thanks for watching this video and any of the ones that you watch. I appreciate it.